Hello guys, welcome back to another one. Big day today. If you saw the last video, I got something special. Uh, Nate and I are out at another farm that we have. Makes it sound like we're loaded. No, it's not our farm. It's another farm we have permission to hunt and fish at. Not too far from home. And I'm pretty sure you've all been here before. However, the place we were going to go to in Thamesville where we normally shoot at, I guess the uh, sting and nettles are six to eight feet tall and the bugs will carry you away. Out here, not so bad. We're going to take out the Mosin. I also brought along the SKS. I'm going to show you the difference in the rounds and then we're going to get to doing some shooting. Oh, Nate also brought a, uh, a Beretta replica BB gun. I'm going to get you on a tripod so things look a little more steadier and I apologize for the wind. It's windy. Not so hot though. Let's get to this. All right, guys, this is around for the Mosin. This one right here is a 762x54R. That's a big round. This round here is for the SKS, 762x39, and a standard 223. All right, well, in true Johnson fashion, I forgot my ear protection at home. Probably gonna regret that one. I got three rounds loaded in here. First time this gun's been fired, at least by us. I don't know if it's been shot before by someone else, it but. Hasn't. Nate says it hasn't been shot before. Now, we're in an area, there's no houses. We're gonna be shooting in down into the ditch. Ooh. Oh, I like that a lot. We're gonna get the SKS and see a little bit of a difference. All right, now the SKS. A little more manageable than the Mosin. All right, that's that's the first time shooting this Mosin. Uh, Nate's rocking over on the SKS. Obviously, the kick's a lot more. You saw the size of the round difference between the two. Uh, this is the standard wooden stock with a steel butt plate. Uh, it hits your shoulder pretty good, but like I said, what we're going to do with this, we're going to trick it out a little bit. We're going to put a scope on it. Uh, the reason we are shooting this into a ditch today is because I don't know where the sights are. Um, the place that I'm at does have a target set up. However, I'm not comfortable shooting at that target until I can kind of get a bearing as to where this thing's going to be because you always need to know where the round's going to go. That'd be a BB gun. Doesn't have the same impact though, does it? So that's why we're just shooting it into a ditch. I wanted to get some, just to put some rounds through it. See how it felt. I like it. A lot. Let's do a little more. All right, guys, there you have it. Not a long video today. I, we're, as usual, we are pressed for time, but just wanted to come out, fire the new rifle, give you my initial impression. It's got a little bit of a kick in the shoulder, but that's only because of the steel plate on the back. Those of you that have been shooting Mosins for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're much more familiar with them than I am, but we may change the stock. Who knows? I would like to get a scope so we can sight it in properly, and then we'll go from there. That's all I got for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you on the next one. Later. A Beretta replica BB gun. Replica. Pretty cool. Replica. Um, what did I say? Well, I'm just emphasizing.